All right, guys, after eight months, no sparring. I have not sparred in eight months. I have not done pad work in eight months. Since the last fight I was supposed to have that fell through because of weight cut issues, I have not been hitting pads. I have not sparred. Today, I'm finally heading back to the gym and I'm a little bit nervous because I'm actually sparring somebody out of town, somebody that I've never sparred with before. I got contacted a couple days ago saying, oh, we're going to be in town for a short period of time. Would you be able to meet up and do some rounds? I went, yes, absolutely. I'm ready to get back in the gym. Restrictions are starting to ease off. We're allowed to get back to training now. This is fantastic, but my skills are not going to be that sharp. I've been doing the running. I've been doing some fitness in the backyard, you know, push-ups, sit-ups, muscle-ups, chin-ups, stuff. Stuff like that but I have not been doing any drilling I've just been honestly lacking a little bit of motivation I'm making the YouTube videos for you guys that, you know just keeping my mind sharp in that way but I haven't had any training partners and so I've just been mostly doing bag work and bag work on its own for me is pretty boring I get in a few rounds I'm like ah okay I'm kind of done with that so this will be an amazing test to see how much ring rest I have after eight months away from the gym without sparring we're gonna head to the gym right now and get some rounds underway all right guys here we go back to the gym first time in eight months getting some sparring in I'm gonna walk you through some of the footage here and basically what we're working with is this is a guy from Calgary he's got a really nice tie style and we're just working back and forth going decently hard but you'll notice there's a decent amount of respect as well good body shot from him there I'm gonna take some pauses here and there and explain techniques that are notable like that one right here let's pause all right here we go I catch the kick I lean back to pull him off balance I go for the punch I miss hand behind the head and then sweep the standing leg out that one works so often it's a fantastic technique to really dial in he's back on his feet back to moving around i believe this is our third or fourth round already it wasn't like we just started off here we already got some work in felt each other out a little bit I think the first couple of rounds were honestly a little bit harder and then we kind of eased back a little bit and just doing that sort of tie style. I'm not getting heavy boxing going like I normally would. He's a couple weeks away from a fight, so I'm trying to do a nice high kick there. So I'm trying to work in sort of the style that he'll be fighting in. We're obviously not throwing elbows as well. Elbows are just, they're so dangerous in sparring. You have to be very, very careful. The couple times I've had Muay Thai fights, I've actually thrown elbows, but I have elbow pads on. Let's get a little bit more into this fight footage here. He has a really nice left knee. There we go, that was a nice one. Let's rewind. Double jab setup, drop the head. He thinks the cross is coming, and then as his hand lowers, I come over top with the round kick. Nice pressure from him, making me fall to the clinch. That's obviously a range that he's very comfortable at. The reaching with the long arms kind of right there that's not my normal style but it's fun sometimes to play around with different different things mix it up a little bit I don't have to do what I'm best at all the time you mix it up you work within a different scope of your regular sort of capabilities it's been a while since I've got uh, any clench work in as well aside from jujitsu clench work so my throws are a little off This is a nice pace where, you know, you're pushing, but nobody's going to get hurt. Nice little kick exchange there. Again, outside of the way I would normally fight, but it's fun to mix it up. And you can spar at this pace, a nice respectful pace, and nobody's going to get really hurt. And here we go, guys, into the next round. He has a really nice left kick. It's sharp. The, the speed with look at that footwork he skips off it was fast I was trying to really catch the kicks but he fired them off so quickly that sometimes it was just better to cross block really tried to get those sort of long front kicks off Lake Borkow something about his hip mobility or his I don't know he's just so good at them it doesn't come super naturally to me 
but I still like to work them. Nice little fake from him there. I just talked about that in a recent episode. Lift the knee up and then come down with the body shot. Fantastic setup. Nice to see somebody else executing that. Woo, good uppercut there. Let's look at that again. He checks, steps in. That's a beautiful counter. Lifted my head right up. Right off the cross block, right into the uppercut. It's not one that I see a whole lot. Nice little Nice little round kick there. That one looked like it might have caught my jaw. Slipped around the guard or something. I've been working a little bit on more, you know, in the shadow boxing and bag work, more MMA style striking. So it was fun to get back to this style. Muay Thai is not my bread and butter. I'm still more kickboxing, but just to square up, keep the gloves high. I definitely like this style more. Same technique from him again there. A little knee fake or front kick fake down to the body shot. Very effective. The speed of that switch kick is fantastic. Nice little pull through sweep there. Let's look at that one. So I'm waiting here. I see the little skip come. I catch. Instead of going for the sweep, I pull him off balance. And then all I have to do is a little additional kick at the end because he's so stretched out. Back into it, I'm gonna walk you guys verbally through the rest of this round, then I'll just let you guys watch the last few without any commentary. There's that little head movement I've been working on in MMA, not something I'd normally do from there, but just trying to mix it up. Just playing around with a long guard here. And now we're moving into a new round. I'm gonna let you guys just watch this. I'm not gonna commentate them all because it takes a while to do all the editing and such but you guys can watch, have fun, just see the nice work that the two of us get to put in together. You can learn a lot by watching other people do their sparring, pick up little things. I used to scour the internet looking for Masato, Bukau, Andy Sauer, sparring footage, pad work footage. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the rounds. Have fun and I'll touch base with you once these rounds are completed. Wow. 
Ready. All right, guys, there you have it. Back to the gym, back to sparring. It's amazing, fantastic. You know, how did I feel? Timing felt a little bit off. And that's something about ring rest. I don't really believe in the sense that ring rest is something that should affect you because Basically for me, if you give me five or six sparring sessions back, I'm gonna be like, okay, timing is back on point. That's what I've found in my experience. And as long as you don't let the fact that you haven't fought in a while mentally get into your head, it really shouldn't matter whether you fought two months ago or a year ago. As long as your body's ready, you're ready. But today, yes, after eight months, I was feeling a little bit of the ring rust and, and honestly, a little tired after the first round. We ended up doing, I believe, five rounds to start we took a full round break after, we did another two or three, then took another break and then did a couple more. But after the first round, I was going, oh, all right, I'm not used to that. The timing, the pace, just everything. And then as we got further and further into the sparring, I felt better and better just because I was not thinking so much. I wasn't quite as tense, I loosened up. And listen guys, props to my opponent today. He just did a fantastic job. I think he only had five fights, that's amazing. Somebody who just came in who wants to spar with like a former Glory World Champion of 40, 45 fights, he did a great job. And his trainer, his trainer is amazing. I used to spar him. He was one of my sparring partners, Archer. Um, I'll, I'll link his name down below. You guys can find him. He actually He's actually a trainer in Calgary now. If you're looking for one of the best trainers in the world, this is the guy you want to be with. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed getting to see some sparring footage today. It's not something I normally put out, but if you enjoyed it, you want to see more, you want to see the next time I go to the gym and I get some rounds in, make sure you throw it in the comments below. I'll be sure to do some more of these types of videos. And man, I know I always tell you guys to train hard. I got to start pushing harder myself. Got to get some pad work underway. Got to start getting some more sparring rounds in because I felt it the first round today was hurting me so you guys make sure you get to the gym make sure you train hard I'll see you back here soon for another video